Hey guys, how's it going? Just started playing a new game called Train Valley. Well, new to me anyways. I've been playing actually for the past day or two. And I just wanted to bring you guys in, show you what it's like. And um, this is the very first map. And what you have to do is you have to control the tracks, build the tracks, and you can destroy the tracks. You can... Anyways, to build tracks, you hit W as a hotkey. I believe the hotkeys are Q for like switching, W for building, E for demoing, and then R for adding more trains to your queues. Anyways, we'll get to that. So to build track, click on W, click on where you want to start the track, and then just kind of go in the directions of the of the green squares to lay the track down. You can uh, you can also change the direction by backing up and then going into another direction that you uh, previously didn't want to go or wanted to go, kind of thing. So anyways, let's go ahead and start it. Now there's different things you have to get done. Like here it says dispatch, dispatch at least one additional train, uh, lay 23 track tiles, and earn $5,000. So let's go ahead and lay some more track per the dotted lines here. Let's send another additional train. So the train um, shows as being ready when there's a little icon underneath the uh, station here. And to start the train, you just click on the icon. We can send two trains at once since we got a circle here. And you switch the tracks by clicking on the different arrows until it will train which, way you, which directions you want to go. Yes, as it says here, you can stop the train. You just click on the little, the little train station icon above their heads to stop them, and then once they come to a complete stop, then you can actually switch directions that they're going, or start them up again. <laughs> and if, yes, this, if, if it isn't too obvious already, you uh, want to send the train to the station that's the color over over their heads. So you'll notice that uh, random train stations just kind of appear from time to time. And as such, they need to be linked into the into the train routes. One thing I also notice you have to be careful of is uh, how much money you got. Up here it shows I have fifty thousand dollars left. So a good amount. Oh, how did I get clicked on that? <laughs> so that's how you destroy train tracks. I like putting in double lines where I can. That way trains can run parallel with each other without having to worry about crashing into each other and stuff. Granted on this map, it's not really needed since it's so short. You can also speed up the time of the trains of the game, game speed. Up to four times as fast as normal. And... Oh, got one more. Need to send them up north. And that's it for map one. All right, on to the second map. We do not want to allow trains to arrive at the wrong station. We need to dispatch at least three additional trains and spend 60,000 at least. So if we hit W, go into build mode. You notice that as you go across the land and you go over things that are already in place there, 
but it'll cost you extra money to get rid of them. Sometimes it's easier to just go around, not to spend that extra extra cash. Build faster, the train's coming. Okay. <laughs> About 75,000. Need some additional trains. Let's get that one going now. Now, with the switch tracks, you don't. You only need to set the direction in from going from one to two, kind of thing. If they're going from one to one, then you don't have to set the direction to match. It'll automatically just go that one direction. So, like here, it won't matter, but here it does matter because it's going from one to two. need two additional trains added. This is why I'd like to have double tracks, because if we had another track running up here, we could have sent this one out and around as this one was coming in, but as it is right now, we got to wait for that one to arrive in the station before that one can go out. I spend some more money as it is, so let's give it a shot. is going to have to stop. Stop that one so that we can go in. We might be able to send that one now before this one goes in. Now if you leave a station or if you leave a train in the station for long enough it will automatically give you a countdown like five after a certain amount of time will give you a countdown of five seconds and then send it out automatically on its own. So you kind of have to be careful of that. How am I going to get that to yellow? Alright.
speed it up. Wait, stop. Okay, go. I'll do it. Nice. Okay. So on this one, we have to earn at least 50,000. Destroy objects with total worth at least 20,000. And avoid train crashes. So hit W, go into build mode. in their chain. Oh, just need to destroy some more things. <laughs> They're going to add in more uh, stations. Yep, there it is. Alright, got everything destroyed. Now we just need our money. Of course you want to go to red. Of course we don't have the money to get you there. Oh crap. No. <laughs> Wait, stop. Hold everything. Alright. So what happens when you forget to switch the tracks for the trains? And you go bankrupt. Well, I hope you enjoyed the Train Valley episode. If you liked it, uh, go ahead and hit the like button and let me know that you'd like to see more, and I will post others. Um, thanks again for watching. Bye.